gonna start out on this uh, woman's dress a little bit. Um, get the right tool. I'll put a little texture in the in the dress. And uh, this is an old tool that I got years ago, and it's been a good one. It has nice serrated edge on it. it gives a deep uh, texturing in the clay. All right, I took this clay and I ran it through my uh, pasta machine. Then I ran it uh, to flatten it out. And then I turned around and ran it through the spaghetti making part, part of it to make these nice long, evenly cut uh, fringes. And I'm going to hang those off the dress here. And uh, Pasta machine's a good little tool. Yeah, this looks a lot more interesting than the uh, original dress that I had sculpted on her. It's just uh, a little more interesting looking. not measuring them out, I just uh, basically do it by eye. Well practiced eye. There we go. Okay. Now I want to put uh, some small bells at the top. Or not bells, but uh, brass uh, tacks. I'm going to just roll it in my fingers and there we go. You get to the point where you can feel in your fingers uh, when the uh, size is even with the other ones that you make so you can keep them uniform too. Now this is the uh, texturing tool that I used for the last time I worked on this blanket so I'm going to keep the uh, textures the same by using it again. You gotta, you can't have one set of textures in one part of the blanket and another set in another part have to keep that uniform as well. If you remember, this is the area that I dug out to uh, get the uh, armature out of it. So it's a matter of rebuilding it. Okay, I want a different texture on the uh, stripe of the blanket to set it apart from the uh, rest of the blanket. So I'm going to use this serrated edged tool here to just give me some stronger and tighter marks on the uh, between the two lines. Been away from this for a couple of days, and uh, it's late in the evening, so I don't know how much time I'm going to put into this, but I want to get something changed right here. The uh, headdress or the uh, hat that he's wearing 
it's almost too round. It's a, you know, like a bouffant or whatever we call it, hairstyle. But anyway, I'm going to take this strap off and change the location of the uh, pipe bag only because now it's hidden by her and I want to bring it around the other way and then work on the shirt on that side. So again, for the third time, and if you've watched my video that uh, I have my instructional DVD, you'll know that I have done this twice now already. And now I'm taking it off and doing it for the third time. The design changed, so the setup changes as well. There we go. give a little more poof to the bottom of his shirt so that it comes up against uh, her blanket. A little bit more. never have too much poof. I'm going to redo the uh, shot pouch real quick. It's going to be made out of uh, some s a little stiffer leather than his shirt. I'm just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Good. Push it back with my tool a little bit. There we go. I'll bring the blanket out just a little bit. because I want to put the uh, powder horn in there. From under the blanket. There we go. And 
the strap for the uh, pouch I made by rolling clay through my pasta maker. Or pasta machine. It's not really a machine. You don't turn it on or anything. It's, just, it's manpower. But that's what I call it. And I take that and uh, Pull this up. This is part of the leg of the uh, animal that's uh, the skin of the hat is made from. And there. I'm not going to get as elaborate with the uh, strap this time as I did last time. I don't think it really adds to the uh, piece. It just detracts a little bit. There we go. And we'll put the strap down, the uh, leg down over the strap so it looks normal. All right, that's going to kick it in for tonight, and I'll uh, see you next time. They're getting ready for the 4th of July here, which ain't too far off. You were out, a friend of mine was out in front of the uh, Chamber of Commerce that we're passing right now, and uh, she was selling t-shirts for it. Good night, everybody. See you next time.